Alrighty guys, welcome back guys. I'm sitting in my house guys. Further ado guys, my biggest fans out there, including my, my newest ones and one subscribe. Oh yes guys, I forgot to mention, in my video, in my video, I forgot to mention my friends who was driving the train or was going to drive the train back, Hugo. Um, they, um, they stomped on the edge of Valiant and um, so they ran out of time and they needed to go home and go rest. And so my other friends will drive my, uh, my friends shift my friend's uh, train back to Hugo and um, and then my my friends at work the shift in the morning they're gonna be driving the train to they'll be driving the train from Hugo to Durant to Medill and then back from Durant from Medill, uh, Durant Medill and back to Hugo tonight so guys and then and then they're gonna be working the shift going to Valiant I think I'm right yeah they're gonna be working a train to Valiant next maybe yeah uh, next Sunday uh, I don't know guys but um I talked to them and so and uh, I met the driver and um, she she's um she's a good uh, she's a <laughs> uh, she's a good woman and um, if anybody tell her tell her I said hi and stuff like that I, I was not trying to be rude I just I just didn't know her or anything so so uh, if you're watching this my biggest friend uh, tell uh, tell that uh, tell that uh, tell that old woman uh, tell, tell that um tell that uh, woman who drove you um, drove y'all to Hugo tell her I said hi and thank you for uh, taking y'all back to Hugo and stuff like that uh, I thank her for her um, I thank her for her service and uh, and uh, I like to say cheer her on and I like to go parade and bazaar at the same time so if anybody out there works for the Kim Mitch Road who, who might know that old woman who's uh, working for them uh, working for them tell her tell her I said thank you for the service and I appreciate it and and keep it up and stuff so if anybody who knows her? Who works on the railroad? All right, guys. If I miss if I miss any questions or or anything like that, or um, if I said something wrong, I'm sorry. But uh, don't forget to like, uh, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll uh, the link and describe at the bottom of my uh, YouTube deal. So, guys, what I do, guys? I want to show y'all something. I got something from Walmart, but there's other brands of these. I got me a bait canister right here. She's about a seven. Yeah, she's about a seven deal right there. You can see she's a medium size bait caster rod. They got different sizes. They're different models. Uh, some of them are different prices. Some of them are different prices. This one I got for 69, which that's way expensive. Way expensive than a $59 one. And then and this one has nothing to compare to the nine, the ninety, the nine, the ninety dollar one at Walmart with with the bait and stuff, which I didn't want to do that, so I decided just to buy this one. It was cheaper, and uh, so so guys, far to do, guys. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you all the techniques and everything here. All right, guys, this right here, this right here is where you mostly. We'll put your hook they're mostly up here but this, this this rod is different they put it down here this um this is where you put your finger right here this is where you put your finger this is your cast and this is your adjuster for your string so you can just just so that you can adjust it where you need it and then this, and this will adjust your drag, so you can set you can set your hook when you're catching the bass or whatever. But sometimes I wouldn't tighten it too much because you can break the line. So sometimes if you're going to catch something with uh, ten uh, with about uh, 10, 10 pound test or fifteen pound test, always uh, keep this loose a little bit because you're going to catch the bass either way. 
because if you catch a big bass, it'll still get hooked and stuff, and then you'll be fine. Boom. So guys, this is this is where you adjust your um, this is where you adjust your cast. This is it right here. This is where you adjust this is where you adjust your string where you want to set it, and then you just whiz it out there, stuff like that. But uh, this is this is a different brand. Uh, it depends on what brand you get at Walmart and stuff like that. But I want to get me a Bass Pro Sh a Bass Pro Shop one and um, and also Academy one. Uh, but I, th I think the Bass Pro they sell these as well. Uh, then I think it's related to Zipco. But it's a pretty good uh, cat bait cast rod. I'm gonna use it when the water's nice and warm and toasty and stuff like that. But this is where you ingest. Uh, this right here is where you want to adjust. This is max. That mean, it just means max means you're uh, it's max where it needs to be or where you want it to go. I want it at one or at zero. If you, if you do it too much uh, when you're casting it out, the reason is you can cast out farther with one or two or one and a half to you know that type of thing, guys. But if you do it too much at max, oh sorry, at max, uh, if you don't hold your thumb down right there, you will burn nest that because it's on max. So I usually put it right here and it will keep it from burn nesting too bad or whatever. Or you just put it down right here to max where it will never burn nest and you'll be fine there. But I'd rather put it right here where I can have a bigger, bigger cast and stuff around rivers and creeks and ponds and stuff and stuff so to me uh, this is a pretty good uh, cast rod and I want to use it I used it once it caught it it caught one bass so that's good enough for me to start for the season for me to catch something caught one yesterday as well bigger than the one I caught so I couldn't take a picture of that one just yet well guys hope y'all like this hope you like this video guys sorry if I didn't take your time like what what what, do you, what video is this I want to show you uh, my new bass rod. I'm currently my, I'm gonna be fishing this year. I'm not gonna let anything try to stop me. I'm like a freight train. You cannot stop a freight train. You cannot stop them. Um, either way, they're free and they have the rhythm of the rails. I tell you, I love the rhythm and the, I love the sound of it and stuff. And, and then when I hear a train, it takes away the blues, the sadness, because I never caught never caught them this weekend so I might catch them next weekend and stuff again hopefully um, hopefully I might catch them a lot better because the temperatures are warmer so I'll be out better in the day but, uh, but uh, my friends uh, took in my uh, my friend shift my friend shift from last night so they didn't have to run tonight so my friends so my other friends will be driving the, the uh, my train be driving the train back to Hugo on Thursday on yeah they'll be driving the train Thursday going to Ashdown and then my same friends that works the morning shift will be running the train back to Hugo in the morning and on Friday trains are not going to be running on Saturday except the uh, Valiant train and and the one that's going to Medill and back from Medill to, to to you know back to Hugo, and then also the ones that's working the shift down there in Ashdown and Hope. So, so uh, this stretch track is gonna be quiet where I live, but um, but there's a mill down there. It's shutting down because of this little coronavirus type thing. It could be a shutdown and also in the process of it. So, so I don't know. They just went to pick up the box cars. And so, so no pain, no gain. They'll be back open, and then the business will be back for it. So. So guys, have a good fishing guys. Anybody out there, man, woman, or child who loves fishing like me, go out there, have fun. Don't worry about the worries and heartaches and pains about this. Um, so guys, there's a cure, there's a vaccine, and it's gonna be here soon. So um, please make sure you wash your hands and uh, make sure, make sure you make make sure you don't shake nobody's hand or nothing like that. And uh, you'll be fine, and um, you'll be fine, and stuff like that. Just make sure you have hand sanitizer in your hands um, before you touch your nose, your face, everything. Because I've done wash my hands, and so 
with disinfected soap and um, or any other soap you can use. But as long as your hands are washed before you touch your nose, your eyes, your mouth, you'll be fine. And uh, always have some uh, some disinfected spray, like you like you spray around houses and stuff. Yeah, have some of that around until in, until this coronavirus dies. Now it can now it will it will die like the plague did. It eventually will eat itself and kill itself. But exactly there there's going to be a vaccine hopefully. Uh it will get rid of it quicker. So everybody will be back to work and everything back to normal. I want it back to normal, but I want but right now I'm I'm just it just I'm not worrying over it or nothing like that. So I'm not worrying over something. It's it's nothing to worry about to me. I mean, anybody else out there, you can worry about it all you want, but not me. Um, so I'm I'm fine. I'm I'm just treating it like it, it's not even happening. But when you go to Walmart, it's, it's like a pandemic. I mean, everything's gone off the shelves here. <laughs> that because they shut down Walmart at eight to stock the shelves and disinfect. Uh, this, <laughs> this <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, this this refect disinfect everything so but pretty soon when it's all gone they'll, they'll stop doing that and then Walmart will be open until until 11 something so but right now they're uh, they're trying to stock shelves and stuff so that's what they've been doing so alright guys catch you guys later Marshall thanks for watching can you your short lines by me Marshall truly uh, thanks for watching Marshall out uh, Thank you for watching Kimichi Railroad on the Hot Rails owned by Jesse Wyoming Corporations, guys. Hope y'all like my new. Hope you like the video, guys. It did not work out, guys. I was I was gonna catch the train and stuff like that. I was gonna catch them at hit in a in, in Valiant at the Diamond, but uh, but uh, they they might have had some track crew working and uh, and then they're running out of time, so they shut the train down and so my other friends will be driving their shift back. Hugo, and then they'll be working. And my other friends that work the train, and they ran out of time. They'll be working the train tonight, going to McDill, Oklahoma, and back to back to home base. We're in Hugo, back to Hugo. All right, guys, catch you guys later, Marshall. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's I'm sorry if it's confusing or anything or anything like that, guys. I'm trying to watch what I say and stuff like that, guys. Without for further further saying to do guys, I'll catch you guys later. Thank you for watching. Can meet your short lines on can meet your road short lines owned by Genesee and Wyoming on the hot rails. Catch you guys later, Marshall. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to uh, comment. Good comments. Bye now. Hope y'all like my new rod and reel. I, I love the color and stuff. So, all right, catch you guys later. Out.